All right, guys, here we are. We have a long-awaited video. We're gonna do some body work. We're actually using the 25th anniversary car to actually do the body fitment. Since it's appropriate, we're actually doing the body work for that car. Um, here with John Corral, he is our molding master. He's in charge of all our molding, and he's also in charge of all our R&D projects. So we're gonna go through, and I'm gonna show you tips and certain things that we do here when we get our bodies ready, because we don't just send them to the body shop, we actually do it together here. So we get it to the point where a customer should be able to do it, and then if you wanna push it off to the body shop, that's fine. But I would actually do what we're doing at home. I've always told guys, your labor's free to do this. It's not that hard to do. It's a couple few tools I have on the bench that I can show you of what you guys kinda need. Um, but we're gonna go from front to back, and I'm gonna roughly show you tips front to back, and then after, we'll actually go through and we'll, go, we'll give you exactly what we do per panel, per cut. So let's go to the front. And as we go to the front, your headlights are trimmed, okay, with your cutouts. All the cutouts that you get from us when you do the actual cutout option is going to be undersized. So that will have to be opened up per the bucket. So we undersize everything because you can obviously take material off, but you can't put material on. So we're gonna go through and your front body mounts are your lights, which are actually a super nice, super easy construction the way they're made. The body mounts, when you set your body to the front, you always want these centered. Okay, so the front is pretty simple. With these bars centered, your marker light actually holds the body on. As we go to the side, we'll go through trimming-wise. You have two bolts underneath that we put in. Some customers, whether they do the body work first, we actually choose to actually do the body work before we do the actual project. That way, what's gonna hold most guys up it's going to be body work. It's never going to be building the car. You'll have the car built way before the body shop will get your car done. Usually they take a couple months to get it done. So we attack the body first, take the body off, give it to the body shop. Now you guys can actually build a car and not worry about, well, once I'm done building, now what am I gonna do? I don't have a body. So I'll show you the things that you guys should do. Most body shops aren't gonna know this. They just think we're gonna take a body, we're gonna fit some panels and we're gonna put it together. It'll look fine, it's just not of our liking of what we do, that's why we're gonna do this video. Starting with the wheel arches. If you see this wheel arch here, what we usually do is we trim that down to about a quarter. So John's gonna show you what he actually uses to do it, which is pretty simple. Yeah, we can basically come in, you can use your finger as a guide or you can use a piece of quarter inch plywood as a guide. You know, you just wanna come around that roll a little bit. I go with my finger. If you're not comfortable with it, you could use something else but you just want to roll around using your finger and get a line on. You just want to come over that radius. That's all you want to do. Now, Tony, do we want to go ahead and cut this now? We'll cut all these cuts after. We'll okay. show step by step how we cut it. Like I said, you're just going to come around that radius because when they mold it at the fiberglass shop, they leave a good three quarters, half inch on there for molding purposes. That, that, that's got to be trimmed off. Tell them what the body is actually made of and how the molding seams work. These seams that you're going to see on the body, these are actually partition seams in the mold. They're not, you know, the, the, body, the mold is all put together in one piece and then the body's all laid up. And then the mold comes apart because with certain draft angles and stuff, you can't get this thing out of the mold without having seams in the mold. So that, that's, you know, it's all glass together, solid underneath. It's all tabbed together. This is just a cosmetic seam they get sanded off in the body process, the body work process. Okay. How many layers of matter in the body? This body is, let's see, we use three layers, of ounce and a half mat, and a layer of 10 ounce boat cloth. Nice. So it's, it's roughly uh, just under, you know, under a quarter of an inch, maybe a little over an eighth. Cool. Well, that kind of helps this whole scenario because most guys think, that's what the body's put together, and it's a partial and it's body. it's not. That's just a cosmetic right. seam that'll get sanded off in the process. Right. Side vents. We go to our side vents. They're actually trimmed pretty nicely. He'll go through, and we'll show you guys what I do, is we actually roll these edges a little bit more, but they do a really good job in the side vents. So those are pretty much set in place. For the exhaust cutout, everybody's worried about exhaust cutout. Now, I did show you guys in the last video on this car that we have changed our headers off to a ball flange. So we have a lot more movement in this header, whether we front to back, up and down, side to side which is gonna help huge. Yeah, so this is gonna to wanna to be opened up a little bit here in the front. We're gonna make this a little bigger when we start trimming stuff here. So usually when we cut through, we'll go right to this lip. We'll go to this finished lip. And uh, what we'll do is once we do this, we do have a car in the showroom, we'll do a comparison on. So we'll actually show you what we've done versus what's here. And you guys will see the difference of 
when we say leave a quarter inch roll, it's night and day having that little quarter inch roll there. So it's kind of the good things that most guys don't see. Or some body shops have done multiple of these. Yeah, they know what to do. You know, our body shops know what to do. We just like doing it here and we set everything up so we can test fit our panels that way. We test fit our doors. We don't just ship the stuff out. We actually do do our QC stuff as we're here and we actually build. Neither one of us wants to get dirty, but we are. <laughs> we'll go through the doors. The doors are hung the and door. you can see the doors fit in the hole. Okay, the door needs to be gapped. Yeah, these, these pieces are made oversized. We always leave these oversized for the customer to trim because you want to get the door in basically where you want it, latched, hinged, and then you go from there. We usually take some uh, quarter inch fine line. You want to gap that. You want to go by the door opening. Like right now, you got less than an eighth of an inch. You probably want a quarter inch gap. So what we do is we go by the opening we kind of eye a quarter inch gap, and then we're going to end up either taking the door off. This will all be ground. Everything will be radiused for paint, like so. And what John means by radius is once we're done with the door, we have the door gapped and the door opens and closes. What we do is we actually roll this edge and we roll the inside edge. When you roll the edges, it really looks finished. It doesn't have that jagged look to it. So it almost looks like a steel panel. It's very rolled over. And you'll see, we're going to do this one door for you guys, and we'll show you exactly what we mean by having it gapped, having it fit. Um, there's a lot of movement in the door, up and down, side to side, in and out. Um, I'm going to go and show you guys the bottom after. I'm going to show you a little trick that I do with the bottom of the body. I actually slot the two holes that actually hold the body to the chassis. Now I have one more piece of adjustment that's underneath the body, and it works really well. We just drill and tap the chassis for it, and we put a a regular, you know, quarter 20 bolt in. But that's how the line's gonna look. And you're probably gonna do this a couple times. Yeah, you're gonna do this a couple times to get, you know, you wanna get the gap pretty perfect. And we're gonna show you how easy it is to grind it off. But most guys don't wanna screw up and it's, yes, it's a big part, you don't, you don't wanna screw it up, but it's very easy to take the material off. So I'll show you the couple tools we use and most guys will even do it by hand. Sanding it by hand with 80 grit or 36 grit, it actually comes off pretty easily. So it's not a hard thing to do. I just, it kills me when you're paying a body shop $80 an hour to do something that you should be doing. It's, it's your love and labor. Whoa. That'll be our start. We'll probably have to go back and do it a second time. But that's how we're pretty much going to do every panel. We're going to do the hood the same way, the doors, the trunk. Trunk is going to be same exact scenario. Trunk is in the hole. Trunk is hinged. We're going to go through and we're going to get our gapping. Um, like I said, for most guys that don't want to do the body rack first, they want to do it after. Just make sure where the quick bolt, where the quick jack bolts are, I should say, and the front bolts are. Make sure it's all in the same place. I try to utilize the same holes that we put it in from the factory because that body is set on in place where it should be. Um, any kind of movement, if you leave the body loose and you're doing your panels, I've seen it happen before. The minute you tighten it up, this corner will go up, this corner will go down. You want to lock this thing down like it's ready to go. Because once you're done, to pull a couple bolts off the trunk, a couple bolts off the doors, and two on the hood, literally, those are the panels you're going to take to the body shop. I don't know many people that actually paint these on the chassis. It just makes a mess. To me, it's very simple to pull this off. When you come back, now you've got your whole chassis. You can put everything on. We actually install the headlights, the taillights. We do the gas cap. We do all that stuff before we actually put the body back on the chassis after it's painted. It's just one of those things you just, after spending that much money in paint, you want to make sure you're careful. Same thing with the gas cap. We do our fitment for our gas caps. So we're going to fit our gas cap in, we're going to drill our holes, and that'll be done also. Now I'll show you guys a change on the taillights. The taillights for this car we actually changed over to a square taillight. So we're going back to its old routes of a square taillight, and you'll see this boss is made for that light. So we will use this as a template, and we'll drill two holes, and then one hole in the center for the wires, and you'll see these two little pins that's roughly exactly where these two holes are. So we'll line our gasket up, and that's where we're gonna put our light. So all these little things, I always tell customers to do. It's very easy to do, it's not very hard. 
simple tools, simple hand tools. Um, I use a deburring tool on some of the slotting that I do, and I'll show you that. Um, the trunk has been changed, so now the trunk is flatter. John actually had raised the whole trunk. So due to having an old European plate, I know a lot of you guys had our time fitting a plate in there. Now where this boss is at has been raised. Now this is long enough for a plate. So a regular, you know, state plate. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start trimming a door. We're going to get back to you and we will show you how a door is trimmed. We'll set it in place. We'll show you how the thing opens and closes. Then eventually I'll show you a trick how to pin a door. That way when you take it off, you can get it right back to where it was. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Give me a couple and we'll show you some more tricks. <laughs>